Welcome everybody and thank you for joining me. So today I want to get back into it again and talk about what is to come for Xbox in 2022. With 2021 now officially wrapped up, there is no denying that Xbox had a great year, at least compared to the previous few. Their latest consoles is selling really well, Game Pass is growing by the day and their cloud-based servers is evolving really fast. They've also released some great games starting in the beginning of the year with the medium and then Psychonauts 2 that was nominated for game of the year as well as Forza Horizon 5, Age of Empire 4 and then of course the main event that was Halo Infinite. In terms of just games it has been great but 2022 is shaping up to be even better. First of all a brand new Xbox Series S console is on the way this year. Now this one is not too much of a surprise, I think most people people already knew that it was coming, PlayStation already announced that they are also upgrading their console in 2022, it will pretty much be the same with a few different parts and that is to try to combat the current supply shortages. In the case of Xbox there will be a few upgrades, they say that it will be 50% faster and they are also considering a bit of a price cut for the console, although it is still unclear by how much and it should also be noted that unlike Sony, Microsoft has not officially announced this updated Xbox Series S console yet. Then in another case of stating the obvious, Xbox Game Pass will be adding a bunch of new games to their library as well. With Sony announcing that they are working on their own version of Game Pass that I am really excited for, you know that competition will take a step up. I am really excited to see what Sony will be offering, although I am also a little bit scared, I don't think that they will have any day and date releases but if they include some of their PlayStation 5 library, I do think that it will be a step in the right direction. Then continuing with Xbox and Game Pass, this is also the year that Starfield will be released, although I am a little bit nervous anytime there is a Bethesda release. Now they will also be releasing Arkane's Redfall at the end of the year, so that is another game to be be looking forward to in 2022. Another big game that Xbox has been showcasing for a while now is Stalker 2 that is also slated to release on Game Pass day and date as well. The game will probably be out around April. Now there is plenty more games that you can expect on Game Pass this year, multi-platform and exclusive wise. Now there is one thing that we should probably not be expecting this year and that is for the supply issues to clear up anytime soon, it is still extremely hard to find a console anywhere and that is likely not to change until at least the end of the year. We are starting to see things open up again but with things being so horribly unpredictable you just never know how things will turn out or when things will close back up again. Different regions get hit differently so it is really hard to predict these type of things. The hope was that things would have been sorted by now but obviously that turned out not to be the case at all. Overall there is still plenty things to be excited for if you are an Xbox owner, be that on the current gen of consoles or the previous version as Xbox plan to support the one for at least a few more years until more players start to upgrade. Xbox Game Pass alone should be really exciting for players who does not have $70 to spend in a month month. Getting day and date releases help to take the pressure off and also help you to prevent making the wrong choices but hopefully things will only get better from this point forward. Anyways this is all that I have for today so if you enjoyed this video be sure to hit that like button. If you would like to see more videos like this please consider subscribing and as always please remember to stay safe, wash your hands, don't touch your face and I hope to see you again soon.